live from KSAT 12. The 6 o'clock news starts right now. She is lucky, surviving thanks to mere seconds. Those seconds appear to have made all the difference for a woman who is trapped inside the back of this garbage truck. It's an amazing story. San Antonio firefighters say that she would have been crushed if the driver hadn't heard her cries for help. Yeah, there you see her actually climbing out of the back of that truck. Katrina Weber shows us the dramatic rescue by fire crews and what happened in the moments before they showed up. An alert about car trouble came in the form of screams, a signal this truck driver was hauling more than trash. Yeah. Surveillance cameras captured the panic around three this morning as he realized a woman was trapped inside. Yeah. But soon, San Antonio firefighters arrived off Bench Jackson near Loop 410 and quickly went into rescue mode. I looked at it, I looked at my phone, and I hear, hey, a lady screaming, help, help. Sahir Maswater couldn't believe it when he looked at his cameras later. The drama had played out near his Palada auto business. Firefighters climbed into the truck using ladders and helped the woman out to safety. They believe she was inside a dumpster, then was picked up with the trash accidentally. Firefighters say as the truck began compacting the trash, the woman started screaming. It's not exactly clear which of the dumpsters the woman originally was in, but firefighters believe that she did climb into one of those and fell asleep before getting that frightening wake-up call. She was not seriously hurt. Muswater says while this was a close call, it's not the first time he's found people in those places. They jump into the, the dump here. Yeah. They jump into inside, they, they try to get some food. I'm looking for maybe recycling something. With homeless encampments practically at his back door, Muswater says he regularly helps those in need. Having this issue, it hurt my heart. He says seeing someone sleeping in a dumpster though, is a sign we all need to do more. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.